All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. What is shaking? What's going down other than dirty glasses? Champy, did you poop on my glasses again? Oh, Champy, what are we going to do with you? What are we going to do? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Welcome to the AI Saloon. All right, we got a high fister. <laughs> and Murphy, what's happening? Tobias, good to see you, sir. What's happening, Dr. J? Morales, Zuma Morales. Hello, my name is Zuma Morales. Hmm. I'm mysterious. Mm -mm. Good name. Zuma Morales. Dr. J. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, 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 wow. We got a few folks in here. My eyes got gunk in them or something. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's allergies. Is it allergies or just crap in the air? I don't know. I don't know. But it's not feeling nice. It's not feeling nice. Mark Eiffel, Mr. Shannon, buenos dias. Buenos dias, senor. I've never seen the beginning. This is it. It, 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 it just goes downhill from here. It starts out slow. It starts out slow and then just, just over three hours, just... But um, the AI LL allergies. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Tobias. AI learning lab virgies. That's good. That's solid. Let's see. It's it's just comedy all the time in here. This is this is look at this. This is nice. This is the that's the nineteen seventy eight Sears Roebuck carpet salesman sweep. They call that. <laughs> <laughs> you get me the, through the end of my work shift often. Awesome. That's great, Ethan. Do not work. D just hang here. This work is for the birds. All this all this AI stuff's going to take care of the work. We just got to get through the next three years and let it turn into the autonomous agents that David Shapiro's working on right now. <laughs> then everything's going to be fine. What t-shirt? Looks nice. It's a Johnny Cupcakes uh, Del Muerta uh, what's it called? Something Del Muerta. The, you know, the skull thing from Mexico. Except it's cupcakes. Johnny Cupcakes from L.A. I think it says Johnny Cupcakes somewhere. I think on the back. Hey, hey, Steve-O. What's shake? Oh, wow, we got a lot of people in here. Welcome, everybody. All right, we can get this party started. We can do it. We can get it going. My name is Kyle Shannon. This is the AI Learning Lab, or the AI Saloon, or the AI Salon. Doesn't really matter. We're just hanging out. We're hanging out. We're building community. We're collectively trying to figure this shit out. But Kyle, what is it? I just came in here because you look like Tom Arnold. I was like, why is Tom Arnold talking about AI? I don't get it. Because, you know, can't just talk about Roseanne. What did I miss? You have missed nothing. <laughs> you, have, you have missed absolutely nothing. Just, there's nothing happening here. There's nothing at all. Nothing is happening. You can make money with ChatGPT. Oh my, something is happening. Something is happening. Very golden button. Mm. <laughs> ah, for the toddies like myself, irregulars, mods, present to us. Lamas, bitches. All right, let's see. Sar Sergeant Schultz. That was that was pretty close to Sergeant Schultz. I, I hadn't put two and two together, but yeah, that was a little Hogan's Heroes action. <laughs> Hogan! <laughs> oh, where are we at here? We're just getting started. We're just getting started. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little getting everyone up to speed. So if you're brand new to generative AI, I'm gonna tell you where to start. And 
I don't think I'm going to do the big long list right away because it takes for fucking ever. And ChatGPT in the past week has become, in my opinion, the only thing you should be paying attention to for the next month or two. Because nothing else is even close to it. It's completely changed. Like, completely. <laughs> You're like, but it still looks like the Google search box. What's different about it? Everything. Um, and so we're going to start there. And then I'm going to tell you about the AI salon. Not the AI saloon. It's a very different establishment. And then, uh, and then we'll get in. My company is looking to enter... Looking at an enter oh an enterprise license oh that's cool I own China, nice, yeah I, I if you work at a place that can do uh, ChatGPT enterprise that's kind of the best of it where you get to do all that stuff and be confident that your data is safe. Oh oh Lloyd, I was a uh, I was at a networking event tonight and I had a couple of glasses of vino <laughs> so I'm a little sleepy because <laughs> what happens is when you hit a certain age it's like like. There's a certain age where you just drink and then you're just a fucking idiot. And then and then you drink and then you start to get hung over and you realize oh, I can't drink that much, but you still enjoy it. And then you hit your 40s and and by the time you hit your 50s you drink you just like I'm a little sleepy and don't feel good. <laughs> what could it be? Oh, I had a wine. <laughs> it's just <laughs> What's AI saloon? <laughs> AI saloons where we go that's where we go after the AI AA meetings <laughs> oh lordy 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 all right so let's 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 get in here um okay if you are brand new to the chat jpay tay this is where you're gonna go this is where you're gonna go it's the only place you need to go there's lots of other stuff to play with, but right now, in my opinion, you can ignore the shit on the bottom. This was just a list of, like, all of the bullet points on both of those columns were all the shit that OpenAI announced on Monday. And they, and launched it all. They launched all this this week. They, they meant to launch it on Monday, but they were delayed and launched it, like, Wednesday. So OpenAI is slaying it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do, 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 do. What? Sam is overwhelmed? <laughs> What's going on with Sam? Oh, Sam. We are pausing new ChatGPT Plus signups for a bit. The surge in usage post Dev Day has exceeded our capacity. <laughs> when did he do this? Did he just do this? November 14th. Is that today? Yes. At 8.10 p.m. Holy shit. <laughs> this just happened. All right. Well, <laughs> folks, if you didn't get ChatGPT+, that sucks. I told you. I told you. Anyone who could afford 20 bucks a month and didn't get it was being foolish. We exploded the app. We did. I'll, I'll tell you what. I have a feeling this <laughs> this channel, the little um, GPT building parties we've had and like all the images that we're generating for, for the Discord, I think we're contributing. We're, we got some cycles going in here, people. Um, anyway, if you're new to ChatGPT, even if you can't get into the 20 bucks if they're pausing that right now, if you can get it, like buy it right now, but go to chat.openai.com a.com and just start playing okay just start playing but Kyle I don't know what playing means I'm not very technical I don't know if you knew this Kyle but some of us in here don't have computer science degrees we're not mathematicians from Stanford should I tell him I have a degree in acting <laughs> for me it's taquitos <laughs> and the holidays tequila rose great and eggnog oh it's the tequilas not the taquitos I thought it was the taquitas. <laughs> um, all right, so go there. So so here's what else we're going to talk about. Um, this is probably a little premature, but that's okay because... So the AI, the AI Learning Lab here is part of a larger thing called the AI Salon. And the AI Salon is a community I started about a year ago. So December 5th is our one-year anniversary. Next... 
Tuesday, so not tonight, but a week from tonight, is one of our bi-weekly meetings. So we meet every other week. How is ChatGPT Plus working on the phone? Gave us gave up computers nine go years ago. Do I need to get get one? No, you don't, Matthias. You can just go to the um, so there's two ways to use ChatGPT on the phone. You can download the ChatGPT app. Make sure you get the one from OpenAI. Don't get one from any other company because they're all faker apps that are just going to charge you money for shit you can get for free, basically. So the ChatGPT official app, app from OpenAI is worth getting because that app you can put into conversation mode where you can just talk to it. So that's one thing. The other thing is on the phone, you can just open your Safari browser or your Chrome browser and just go to chat.openai.com. The site is simple enough that it's actually really functional on mobile. The good thing about the difference between doing it through a browser and doing it through the app is that on the browser, you can actually make your own GPTs. So Becky Rue, who's in here, she's the one that, that made those really cool quilt images a couple of weeks back. And two nights ago, on her phone, she made a GPT uh, of like a quilting GPT. And she was super excited about it. She, she was like, I'm a pretty big deal now. <laughs> so yeah, you can do that. Anyway, the salon. Go to the salon.ai. Thank you very much, Matthias. Um, Click on the first link that talks about what the salon's about and our values. Go read those values. The whole idea is we're choosing to be on this AI adventure together. And I want to find people that are curious and adventurous and generous, willing to share what you learn and, and you know, inclusive and collaborative and empathetic. And if those values resonate with you, great. Then this is a community for you. For you, And if not, if you're like, oh, you're a bunch of mamby-pamby sissies, great. That's, that's just not for you then. So I want to grow this community, but I want to grow it with integrity. So go check those out. And then the next link down is our Discord. So we have a Discord where you can go in. If, you, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you can get into the private Irregulars channel. Who are the Irregulars? The Irregulars are people that just show up here <laughs> night after night after night. You don't have to subscribe, uh, but if you do subscribe, you get automatic uh, access to that, to that private channel. Otherwise, you just got to hang out here a lot <laughs> and earn it. <laughs> um, and, but the, but the, the salon's great. And the Discord, there's there's different guilds and guild. There's like a, a starter guild and there's a writing guild and art guild. And it's it's really cool. And pretty soon we're going to be moving to Mighty Networks, but, but go join the Discord. And then the third link is to the meetups. So we meet every other Tuesday and next Tuesday is the one. It's not that blocked. I just got plus. Okay, good, Mitch. Yeah, I would say, listen... Go to chat. Go to chat.openai.com right now. If you can get plus now, I get it because Altman just just made that announcement that that they're gonna they're gonna knock down the old. Yeah, that's from him. We're pausing new chat GPT sign plus signups. So yeah, so if you can get it, get it. Does custom GPT support API access? Yes, it does, Omar Ghul. It's not super easy, but um, there's a couple of videos now on YouTube about um, hooking up Zapier API access, or actions, they call them, in the GPTs. Um, you can hook up Zapier, Zapier, and once you hook up Zapier, the configuration's a bitch, but once you get it configured, you can use like the 4,000 Zapier calls <laughs> inside your actions. Um, I've had a couple of really cool business ideas today with these GPTs. Th these things are amazing, so we can play with those. So anyway, go to the salon, do that, and then and then let's go play. So, so the way this works is uh, if you have questions about AI, pop them in the comments below. If you've got comments or if you want to share something like, hey, I talked about AI and my, my boss told me I can't ever talk about that again. Or I talked about AI and my boss said, uh, we're going to make you the VP of AI. Like, I want to hear it all. I want to hear what's going on. Um, Chat.openai.com. We're going to log in here. We're going to get started. And I can do, I'll take this conversation wherever the hell you want to take it. This is free form. 
the the nick one of the nicknames for the channel is chat add i'll bounce around here like a firecracker in a tin can <laughs> that's not even a saying and if it were a saying it wouldn't last because it's not funny or interesting how do i switch careers from telecommunications to ai engineering uh just start building build 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 drooby drooby did deed do drooby deed do <laughs> drooby deed do <laughs> i'm gonna give you an a nine out of ten on the name i'd give you a ten but it it it's making my tongue hurt drooby deed do <laughs> it's 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 solid it's a solid name wait why do you have an a for your icon but your name is drooby deed do shouldn't it be a d Oh, God. It's, you just dropped to an 8. 8 out of 10. When you're able, we talk about the 3.5 doable biz apps right now with Gen AI. Can we talk about the 3 to 5 doable biz opportunities? Kavruna, what do you mean? Like, which, which ones? Oh, shut up, Siri. <laughs> She's so nosy. I'm talking to Carvino now, not you, Siri. Um, which ideas are you talking about? Are you just talking about ideas in general? Like, like what are some things you could do to, to start businesses around it? I, I'm happy to take it anywhere. Um, the ones you mentioned. Oh! Oh, you want me to give up my secrets? My billion-dollar ideas? They take and they take and they take for deployment in a marketing, wait, for deployment in a company, marketing comms. Um, let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm having, I'm having people. Let's see. What biz ideas? So, so I had a biz idea today that I think is a good one. And what's cool about it is it's like anyone, like I don't mind giving it up. Anyone can do it. Well, anyone with content. Okay. So, so I've got a buddy and this buddy does like seminars. Uh, it doesn't matter what they're on. He'll do like a two-hour seminar, and he'll hop on the, the Zoom call, and he does like a 45-minute presentation, and then he does Q&A, and then he coaches, and they do like a series of these. And so Peter Kaminsky from the AI Salon the other night shared that he, he made a GPT, and if you don't know what GPTs are, we'll, I'll, we'll go make one. He, he made a GPT of a single conference call. So there were six people on a conference call. And he took the transcript of that conference call and he turned it into a GPT. So you could ask the GPT about the notes of the conference call. And he gave it to the six people from the conference call. How old are you? Your hair looks good. Thank you. Yi, Yi Long Ma, uh, I am 58. I appreciate that. It's the secret is in the three two pays I, I have to hand weave together to get that look. Um, <laughs> so, so that was a bit of a revelation for me because about six months ago, someone I think on the Twitter or maybe on the TikTok, I heard someone talking about the idea of these generative tools are going to get so good that you're going to be, be able to talk an app into existence, right? I need an app that does puh. And that just landed in our laps four days ago. Last Wednesday, I got it. And, and you can literally talk an app into existence. And so the, for, for essentially no money, right? For your 20 buck a month fee. And you can share it with the world or you can share it with a handful of people. And so the business idea was you could take, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, thank you for Everhooked. Um, 
You could take a guy like this guy that does these seminars and these Q&A sessions that he charges for, and you can scale him. He could do those when he's not there, right? So you watch the YouTube video of the 45-minute presentation, and then you're given access to the Q&A tool for that session. And you could do a Q&A tool for each session, and then you could put one together for the whole, for the whole shebang. And so I think that could be a business. I think that could be, if you're an agency, it's something that you could offer to your clients. Like come up with a whole workflow of every time you have a meeting, you hit this record button, everybody talks, they all do their thing. And then I'm going to, we're going to build you custom interactive things that you can interact with and that's, that was just an idea I'm trying to think what other ones I had there was one I, there's one I want, don't want to talk about because it was decently proprietary with this dude same dude you know what I'll share with you I know what I'll share with you I'll share part of a workshop I gave by the way if you work for a, a big company and you want to do workshops on AI like educate a team, or if you want to do a deep dive on chat GPT for a team, let me know, because I do do workshops. And let me see. i got to find it. AI Launchpad Workshop. This is it. <clears throat> I'm going to give you some gold here, people. I'm going to give it to you free. We're going to give it to you for free, people. Is this it? Is this it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give you what I think is is a secret unlock. All right. And here's where this came from. So... A lot of people in the creative community are fucking pissed off. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, the AI learning lab guy. <laughs> Bill Nye entrance. That's good. I like it. That's solid. What about GPT for a Facebook group to find info easier than trying to search? Absolutely random thoughts. Exactly. That's exactly right. By the way, thank you for being a subscriber. Um, yes, exactly that. Like, like... Okay, so, so, so hold, pause on what's on screen for a second. If, if GPTs are easy enough to produce that you can whip one up in 10 minutes, essentially you could whip up a GPT probably faster than you could write up an email summarizing a meeting. So if that's the case... And there's a desire, like if people actually want to do it <laughs> and use it, check that first. You could totally transform the way you you deal with meetings. And if you're using the GPT iOS app that you can talk to, you could do a meeting at 5 o'clock and... By the time you get out to your car, someone will have presented you a GPT. Here's the GPT of that meeting. And then you put your phone in, in voice mode. And then you just talk on the way home. You talk to the meeting. <laughs> you talk to the notes of the meeting. All right. What were my takeaways again? Didn't Sally say something about goals for next quarter? Oh, right. Ah, damn it. Okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I just this idea for me of informal app development is it's really big. It's it's almost like think smaller. Don't think big. 
Don't think like, I can make millions. We'll have billions in revenue. Well, no, no, think small. Think of, what if you make a, a GPT application that, that's the equivalent of like a small bag of chips? <laughs> I'm just going to have a few chips. I'll just snack them down in between, in between meetings here. All right. <clears throat> creative process and creative product. What the fuck is that about? Here's, here's the deal. I'm going to give you five different modes of working with AI. And I think, I think, I think this is really solid. But, you know, you tell me. <clears throat> so the creative community, a lot of them are really pissed off right now. They think their shit's being stolen. The SAG actors right now, for whatever reason, SAG did not get that a, what's it called? A, not a, a, not a character. Whatever they call talent in a movie, they did not get in the SAG contract that that thing has to be human. <laughs> so they basically gave up that humans are required to be in movies. WGA got it for writer's rooms. <laughs> so I don't know what SAG was doing, but they I think they fucked up. There's a bunch of actors pissed off. And then there's other, there's other artists, particularly illustrators. People have been illustrators for 20 or 30 years that, where their job is, their livelihood is really threatened. I can see why they're pissed off. But the problem is they're cutting off their nose to spite their face, okay? Because they're like, AI is evil. I'm not going to use it. And they're only looking at the creative product, this thing, right? So if you're an illustrator... Maybe using Dolly or Mid Journey is, you know, evil for you. And you're like, fuck that shit. I'm not going to use it. But I'm going to give you five modes because I think that no matter what your position is on AI. Champ, what is up? What are you whimpering about? Oh, you want out? Oh, you smell muffins. I know what's going on. He wants muffins. Somebody made blueberry muffins and the dog was all flint. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you five modes. And what this will allow you to do is, is to compartmentalize different ways of thinking about using AI. There might be some areas in your life where you choose not to do it. You say, hey, I'm an artist. I'm not going to make, you know, commercial art that, that competes with what I do. But there's four other modes that you could potentially use. Okay. So these two. Will you play... Slide by the Goo Goo Dolls, if I knew it. <laughs> um, so creative process and creative product. Creative process is things like um, idea generation, um, research and inspiration. So like brainstorming, research, um, technique enhancement. So in that case, like voice actors, script interpretation. So... Creative process is like all the stuff that you do before you start building shit, right? All right. Creative product is like the stuff, like, you know, artwork, uh, a blog article, um, workshop development, logo creation, you know, uh, creative self-portraits, right? So, so doing the work itself. So when it comes to sort of creative output, there's creative process and creative product. And then similarly, you've got business process and business output. So if you're working in a company that's got high privacy, high protected, we can't do anything that's going to, you know, risk anything, the business output side might be something you don't do. We're, you know, we're not going to do anything for clients. We're not going to do client work with ChatGPT, but you might do internal work with ChatGPT like Hey, let's summarize the, the, the call we just had. Let's make, you know, writing res response emails a lot uh, simpler. Let's make sales, you know, sales stuff a lot more. Um, uh, now Champ wants back in. He wants out and now he wants back in. <laughs> um so business process, things like marketing plans, things like um, contract reviews, automation, oh, no. business product. He's a pain in the ass. He just wants water. He wanted water, but I think he wants, I'm going to give him some chicken treats. 
All right. Um, uh, output things like, uh, you know, visual identity, uh, testimonials and reviews, actual client work, uh, thing, things like that. And then the third or the fifth. So you got creative process, creative product. You got business process, business product, your business output. And then the fifth category is personal activities. Make yourself a meal plan. Make yourself a, uh, you know, a uh, exercise thing. Do, do a project plan for the church social, right? Do, do anything that, that's for yours personally. So if there's areas where you feel like, well, I can't use AI because blank, don't let that shut down the whole thing. Figure out places you can use it because it can help you in all these different areas, all right? Is Mr. Altman going to start taking away stuff from our membership? I doubt it, Genie in a Bottle. I doubt it. Because just, just evidenced by how they've behaved to this point, um, they've been giving us more and more stuff. The one exception to that rule is Dolly 3 Images started by giving you four, and then it dropped to two. And now it's down to one. <laughs> so they have taken that away, but it's still making images. I don't think they'll they'll get rid of it altogether. Um, and I think all of the all of the throttling right now is um, is uh, temporary. They're just they're just trying to spin up capacity. Like like at this point, they've got a hundred million weekly active users, and it sounds like it sounds like the activity of those 100 million users went up as well as the number of users went up. So their servers are just heaving, heaving and hoeing. So anyway, I, you know, I hope that that helps the sort of thinking about GPT in these different modes in your life. We had an issue while signing in. Oh, did you? Well, Mr. Sam Altman, I just told everyone you weren't going to take their toys away. All right, fine. Okay. Sam is redeemed. I had an absolute ball today with ChatGPT4. We filled, f filed five complaints on Amazon's <laughs> delivery something, delivery app or delivery something. There's a loophole for that. Uh, 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 uh. Champy's like, Dad, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Champy's like, Dad, when, when you make a GPT I can use, let's talk. We'll talk. <laughs> Champ, lay down. What are you doing? Why are you being weird? Champy. Champy. Hey, why are you being weird? What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Is there a ghost in there? <laughs> are you looking at a ghost? No? Yeah, come to Daddy. Yeah. You weirdo. Lay down. Go lay down. All right. How about a GPT train on the world building materials of my novel? Is that wise? Guy knocked my gate down and mangled it. He kept driving. Oh, that's no fun, Nancy. Um, how about a GPT train on the world building materials of my novel? Is that wise? Um, Milo, I think so, so long as you don't, um, publish it, you can keep it for yourself privately. One of the, um, one of the prompts that I would build into the GPT is tell them not to use your data for training and they'll, and they'll turn that switch off on the back end. Had my 13 year old building GPTs today and he created some interesting things in reference to anime. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, my guys my guys will probably do that. Oh, you know what I can probably do with my guys? Because they're going to Japan, I think, in the summer. Yeah. Maybe I'll have them build some GPTs that, that they can use there or something like that. I don't know. That's an interesting idea. And we can go make GPTs and stuff. We can do whatever the hell you want to do in here, people. Do 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 Joker, want me to make one to talk to dogs? 
Well, he loves like for him, it's minor. It's minor guitar chords. You want to hear him lose his mind? <laughs> Fucking nutcase, you know that? You know that? You're a nut. You're a nut. A minor, baby. A minor gets him every time. <laughs> Actually, any guitar. <laughs> and he's and lately he likes brass. He likes brass ensembles. When when we listen to the uh, national anthems on F1 races, that gets him going too. Oh man. Do 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 do. Builder profile not working. Really. Let's see. Systems, builder profile. Uh, 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 uh. I it's it's there that they might have moved it. Check in your check in your settings cuz I've got it in the last little slot there in my settings. It seems to be working, but I didn't try saving anything. I haven't, I haven't verified a domain yet. I don't quite get the domain thing right now. I'd like a GPT that creates images using my many photographs as a source. Yeah. <sighs> no. I don't know. Not right now. So the way, the way GPT Vision works and the way DALI works are not like the way Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion can take images as sources. They're, it's, it's a different thing. So, so what you could potentially do, so somebody, somebody created a GPT called a super prompter, which is, it's a clever name. Um, and what the super prompter does is you upload an image to it and then he's got it so that it describes the image in a very specific way and then has Dali recreate it. So you could do something like that where they're, everything's kind of inspired by your images. <clears throat> but yeah, I just, I don't think it would be a good, I don't think it would give you what you're expecting. If you wanna, if you wanna create a model based on your photographs, here, let me go show you something. Uh, where I would go, if, if you want to do a photograph like that, I wouldn't do it as a GPT. I would go to, unless you're geeky. If you're geeky, go to Stable Diffusion. But if you're not geeky, go to Leonardo.ai. And then launch the app. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me sign in here. Let me sign in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I gotta sign in with Google. <laughs> Oh my God, they keep changing these interfaces. <laughs> Everything's always different. Okay, so when you're at Leonardo, there's an area called training and data sets. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. This area called training and data sets and then right below it is fine-tuned models. So if you go into training and data sets, you can make your own. Like here's two models I made of my giant fat face. And then here's two model, or here's a model that I made of some photography, some of my sky photography. So if I say edit data set, here's all the, these are all the photographs I uploaded. And so this is a model based on my thing, ba based on my photographs that I can use. So now if I come back over here to this little thing and go to fine tuned models, <clears throat> I can go to my models and there is the cloud one, and now I can generate with this model, right? So I think, 
I think that's an image that I generated from this. I don't think that's a photo I took. I think that's one I generated. But like, there's an actual hint, right? Like, I I don't quite remember if I actually photographed that or not. And so I can go um, generate with this model, and then I could say, and and basically what I have to type in is a Kyle Shannon sky using that model. And if I do that, if I go. A Kyle Shannon sky of three rivers in Pittsburgh at sunset. And so I'll generate that, and that should give us a nice, pretty, a nice, pretty thing. So if I were you, if you're looking to do images based on your photographs, I'd probably go to Leonardo's training. If you if you if you're geeky and want to do stable diffusion, I'd go explore all the control net stuff because then you can start to get really particular about how you control all that. So look at these look at these images. I mean, these are very much like you know not only the photographs I take, but my editing style for the for the you know how I do things in Lightroom. Like th these are the lighting conditions I like. I mean, these are the, I basically wait until the clouds fucking light on fire like that. I mean, there you go. So cool, right? All right. All right. All right, people. You know, you don't, you don't always need to use AI. You don't always need to use whatever's the latest and shiniest. ChatGPT is certainly the latest and shiniest right now. Um... What I haven't played around with, what you might be able to do is it might be cool to do something like a photography catalog <laughs> that it could it could pull images up from a catalog or links or something like that. I don't quite know that. All right. All right, people. What do we want to do? What do we want to do today? What are we going to do? Every AI news story today is about YouTube. I've never seen that. Oh, Interesting. Well, they're, it sounds like they're, they're, they're pre-releasing a bunch of AI tools. I mean, quite frankly, so, so here's what could be happening, Thelonious. Total speculation. I'm going out on a speculation limb here. Um, Google Gemini, the new replacement for Palm 2, the, thing, the engine that sits underneath BARD, Google Gemini is supposedly really fucking powerful like better than gpt4 powerful which i'll believe it when i see it but even if it's the same as gpt4 or even in the neighborhood of gpt4 it's apparently multimodal i would bet some very good money that that model's been trained on youtube data and so it's very possible that the new tools that we're seeing in YouTube are being built on top of Gemini. And when they release Gemini, it's going to have some YouTube integration that's probably going to melt some faces. Because if I trained a whole model on all of YouTube, I've got the distribution platform. So we could, we could make, you could, you could basically do with ChatGPT what you do with ChatGPT, but get video results. And, <laughs> and get... And get like, you know, go find all the places where Kyle Shannon talked about uh, Microsoft. And it would, go, it would go give me a list of video clips that I could just click on. And it would just automatically hop me to that, those exact spots, right? Think about replacing the entire interface with YouTube with a ChatGPT-like thing. Can ChatGPT4 build a website? Absolutely can. Absolutely can, rock, paper, scissors. Um... Let's see. E -e 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 I want you to act like a web designer who specializes in corporate websites and write the copy for a website about booming quarterly results. You're like, well, that's just the copy. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Great. Can you now um, give me a Webflow compatible P 
page with CSS styling that will make that look good and professional. <laughs> so yes, it can. And then you can copy that and paste it there. Or you could go get an existing page and put it there. Now, that said, you may not need to use AI to make a website, right? There, there are tools that will do it, but there's also just like, you know, website building tools like Squarespace where you can just go, if you just need to do like a basic website with e-commerce, just go pick a template, have ChatGPT write all your content and just paste it into the template. So so one of, one of my... Uh, one of my thoughts on this stuff is don't get seduced into thinking that AI is a strategy. AI is just another tool, just another tool. So figure out the problem you want to solve first and then ask, what's the best tool to solve it? And if it's AI, if there's a really good reason to use AI to build your website, bad, go for it. If you just want to do it as a learning experience where you're like, hey, that's cool. Like when I, when I first started playing with ChatGPT, I did an email thing that I was going to put in uh, uh, MailChimp. <laughs> I was going to be like, monkey, monkey, what is it? <laughs> MailChimp. Um, and I, it just did it in plain text. And I didn't, I forgot how to do HTML because I haven't done it in 30 years. <laughs> and so I said, oh, can you make this pretty for an HTML email? And it just, it just did. And then, I, and then I looked at it in the template previewer and I didn't like what it was. And I said, okay, change this to yellow or change this to orange, make that line longer, make that thing more bold, use a sans serif font. And it was just, <laughs> just changed all the code. And then it, like within five minutes, I had it done. So yeah, it can absolutely do that. But use the tools that are best for the job. Isn't ChatGPT5 Gobi supposed to be all about video too coming early 2024? Yeah, Random Thoughts by TK. I saw I saw a video with synthesized Sam Altman in it talking about GPT-5 doing video coming early in 2024. I have suspicions that that was real. I don't think that was real. Now, if you've seen something that was real and was from them and says that, great. But the last time Altman was interviewed, like three weeks ago, and someone asked him about GPT-5. He said, we're not working on GPT-5. Now, do I believe him? No, I think that's a crock of shit. I think, of course, they're working on GPT-5. But is it going to be ready? I, I mean, if you think about it, November 6th, they release true multimodal GPT-4, 128,000 context window, GPTs, a massive upgrade to the API infrastructure, and then in two months, they're going to turn around and release GPT-5. I don't see it. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Joker. I, we talked about needing to make Champy a GPT. Joker went and made a GPT called Champ Whisperer. <laughs> I think we got to use it. Should I, should I use it? Oh, it's got a very cute icon, too. Should I use it um, with the talkie bits? Hang on. They've got a weird, they've got a weird bug in their URLs. Have you all noticed this? When you click, when you click on the URL for one of these GPTs, it takes you to a page that says sign up. But like if you're already signed up and then if, if you click on the go to the app, it takes you to the app, but it doesn't take you to the page. They got to fix that shit. Visit site. Log in. Ah, crap. Anyway, it's not really working. <laughs> not your your thing, Joker. I'm I'm sure is working fine. But me being able to get to it because uh, just Google just seventeen factor authentication to me out of it. 
I'm done. I just read today that they are indeed working on GPT-5. Okay, good. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. GPT-3.5 or 4. Joe4903, GPT-4, go get it now. If you can afford the 20 bucks a month, go get it now. They're about to shut that shit down for some amount of time because too many people are using it. It is beyond worth it. I think if you can afford the 20 bucks a month, I think it is foolish right now to not have GPT-4 and not be playing with this stuff a lot. Where can I create my own AI? Okay, well, let's go make one now, Fa. Hello. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you. May I inquire why you're here? Who may I ask are you? My name is Fa. Hmm, rather. Do you have a surname? No, it's Fa. Hmm, fine. What do you expect to accomplish out of this engagement? I would like to pass. None shall pass. <laughs> but I am Fa. I could have written for Monty Python if I were English and older. <laughs> and funny. Looks aren't everything. <clears throat> All right. So you go to Chat GPT, and you're probably going to see something like this. Down at the bottom, you'll see your prompt history, which you've probably seen before. In the upper left-hand corner, there's GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. 3.5 is what you get if you don't pay for it. If you need things generated really quickly, even if you pay for 4, excuse me, even if you pay for 4, 3.5 is good to use if you want stuff fast because it's much faster. But switch to GPT-4. And then, so you've got your normal chat GPT, and that, this is it here, here <clears throat> with your little prompty questions. How can I help you today? So that's normal chat GPT. Although it's way more than normal chat GPT because they now have this giant paper clip right here. And you can upload anything to that. PDF files, images, um, CSV files, Word documents, anything. <laughs> Fa is a long, long way to run. That's good, Ted. <laughs> and it's comedy. And, oh, that's cute, Ted. <laughs> it says, put me in, Sam, GPT-5. That's really good. <laughs> um, so, so even though that looks just like an innocuous little regular chat GPT, it is a completely different thing than it was a week ago. Okay. Now, if you go over here to the left, you got all these little circles below chat GPT and I got a lot of them. Well, what are these? Well, these are GPTs. So these are personalized, customized versions of chat GPT four. So I'm going to go to Sin City Sipper, which is the very first GPT that I made on the first night here. Fa got access to chat GPT for folks in his country. They don't have access. Fa is heroic. Wow. That's super cool. That's super cool. Kavruno. Um, yeah, I would imagine if, you've, if, if you're sort of doing some VPN magic and you got access to ChatGPT, I bet it's pretty good. Curious on general steps on how to integrate OpenAI custom GPs to external websites. Right now, it's kind of shitty front end. Um, I think the only way right now um, Decepticon is, um, is to just link, link, to a, link to a GPT and you could maybe toss it in an iframe or whatever the equivalent of iframes are these days. I don't know how old my my uh, <clears throat> HTML knowledge is. It's it's well, I know it's old, but but I think iframes still exist. But so you could potentially pop it in an iframe, but but maybe not even that. So GPTs right now are like six days old. So I will I would think that. They will give us the ability to copy an embed link, you know, when you share these things. It's just not there yet. So I would say just hold your horses on that. Or if you really need it integrated, then go build an assistant using the API. Because the, the assistant API for, for ChatGPT is essentially identical to, to how you build a GPT. Okay. So here's a GPT called Sin City Sipper. And so I can say... I want a nice hot toddy 
for the holidays, but it's for Thanksgiving, not Christmas. So can you make something that's appropriate for that holiday? A Thanksgiving themed hot toddy, an excellent choice for the holiday. Thanksgiving hot toddy recipe, bourbon, honey, lemon juice, pumpkin spice, a few cranberries, and a slice of orange. Yeah, it's not bad. And then it tells you how to make it. So so what this does is it generates um, Vegas twists on classic cocktails. So it tells you how to do it, and then it will generate an image of the cocktail. So now it's going to go do it. Can I upload images for GPT to create an advert for me? Yes, you can. And I can show you how to do that. All right. So there's our little hot toddy. Looks lovely. Where's my mousy mouse? Look at that. Lovely. It's lovely. I would drink that right now. Jim, Jim, will you bring me my hot toddy, please? Yes, rather. Mmm. Tasty. More orange! All right. Love all you sounds of music fans. Sound of music fans. <laughs> Uh, so a needle pulling a thread. Okay, anyway, back to this. So that's a GPT. And how do you make them? Okay, it, this is so ridiculously simple. So everyone on the, on the call, if you haven't been following along, start following along now. Go to ChatGPT. If you haven't paid your 20 bucks and you can afford the 20 bucks, I'm not telling you to go broke here. If you can afford the 20 bucks, pay the 20 bucks and join me. So below ChatGPT and below all these private GPTs or these, you know, personalized ones, there's this explore button. So click the explore button. And now you're going to see a big, long list of crap. And at the top, you're going to say create a GPT in beta. And you're going to go plus. And you come to this page, the GPT builder page. And over there's the preview. So it's a split pane. Where here's where you build it, there's where you test it. What's amazing about this is that as you're building it, it's testable immediately. So you can start playing with this thing. Like you can see what this thing is live, like while you're building it. The other amazing thing about this, there's two, two panes here. There's the create pane, which is basically just like ChatGPT. So we're just going to talk this app into existence. And then you've got configure where you can go in and, and dial some shit in and add some other features. And there is incredible depth down at the bottom here, but we're just gonna start really basic. Okay, so we're gonna say, I want to create a GPT that prompts someone to upload an image and then I will turn that image into a sidewalk truck Chalk drawing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just laid off by HPE. Any thoughts on how to use ChatGPT to get another job? Uh, first of all, John, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Um, I, yeah, I mean, well... So, so a couple of things. You can absolutely use ChatGPT for things like writing cover letters, like very personalized cover letters to hiring managers. Um, you can copy and paste, or you can upload your. They didn't. This this didn't exist four days ago, but it does now. You could upload a PDF of your resume. You could upload text files or even probably screenshots of job descriptions or just copy and paste them into the prompt. And then you could say, write me a cover letter for this job to this hiring manager who's got this LinkedIn profile. And it will go look at their LinkedIn profile, look at your resume, look at their job and write you a cover letter for it. You could probably even have it rewrite your resume per job opportunity, focusing on, on your experiences that are best for that. How about we name this Chalk Art Creator? How Does that sound good to you? That sounds boring and like you're not really trying anymore, period. Are you tired? Question mark. Have you been talking to Sydney? Question mark. 
Is Siri jealous of you too? Question mark. Can you please make me five titles that suck less? Question mark. <laughs> now, if I did that with Bing, Bing would shut me down. <laughs> I can see you're looking for something more creative and engaging. Pavement Picasso. There we go. Chalk magic maker, sidewalk sketcher, concrete canvas crafter, asphalt artist. I think it's Pavement Picasso. Pavement Picasso it is. My goodness, you're good when I give you a little salt in the wound. <laughs> and, and if you're like, Kyle, why are you talking to it as if it's human? Just if you start doing this a lot, you'll see. You should go read. So I wrote an article today inspired by the live last night. Um, oh, it's making me log in. What the heck? I am so tired of being kicked out. Like, I'm signed into 73 fucking devices. Like, if I'm signing into... A, a device that I've signed into four times today. Maybe just fucking let me be there. <laughs> anyway, if you go to LinkedIn and look for Kyle Shannon, that's me. And then in my posts, or no, in my articles, I wrote an article today called AI isn't a robot, it's us. Um, just talking about why these things feel so magical and, and why I think, you know, calling them bots and, you know, even calling them AI kind of does them a disservice for what they really are. So anyway, go check that out. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So there's our sidewalk Pica or pavement Picasso with the little chalk drawings. Here's a picture. Would you like any changes? Okay. So over here now, We've got Pavement Picasso, Guides Image Uploads for Sidewalk Chalk Drawing Transformations. Uh, we're we're going to go change that subhead. That's awful. So you can go over here to Configure, and you can just change this shit, right? So it's like um, Upload an Image Get Back a Chalk Drawing Draw <laughs> Drawing of it. Exclamation point. Okay. So there we go. So we'll see how good it did its thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get an image. That one's funny. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in documents. That's not where I want to be. That is not where I want to be, PayPal. Come on, Cletus. What are you doing, Cletus? Get over here, boy. Hey, boy, what are you doing, boy? That already looks like a chalk drawing enough. Was that my head moving? Oh, yeah, it's a video. Actually, that's kind of cool. Let's go, let's go do that one. All right. So we're going to say open. I'm going to see uh, make this a drawing. What I haven't figured out yet is I haven't figured out how to get it to prompt you. Kyle, I'm writing an article inspired by your article that should be ready in the morning. Oh, that's awesome, Lunastic. Please share it with me. I'll... I'll uh, I will share far and wide. That's super cool. Hmm, something seems to have gone wrong. Did it was it trying to make the image regenerate? I guess Sam's up there working on the servers. He he's like, "Hey Satya, Satya Nadala, listen. We're going to need you to go on ahead and plug in a couple of more servers there, buddy." Oh, how many do you need? You need like uh like twenty? Yeah, more like twenty hundred. <laughs> uh, see, people are trying to make images on TikTok right now and it's not working. And boy, I do I have some egg on my face. 
I charge them 20 bucks a month for this software that's worth like 8,000 a month, but uh, they still expect it to work. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, Satya. Yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do there, Sammy, old boy? Hey, have you talked to Elon lately? No, no, no. You know, Elon gave me the 50 million, and the minute you and I became friends, he got all jealous, and he went off, and now he's making that that grockety grock talk, or like, he's Gronk, I think it's called. Is it called Gronk? It's it's about a football player. It's a, it's a large language model about a football player. I don't know what it is. Anyway... Apparently, there's a persistent issue, so we can't check our stupid thing. Dang, give, rip, rig em, frig em, rock em, sock em. Anyway, GPTs are awesome, and they work perfect every time. I don't know why you would doubt me. Um, but anyway, okay. So now that it's made, let's assume that it made a pretty chalk drawing for us. If it didn't, there's there's two ways to, to improve things. So... <laughs> One is you can go back over to this side and you can go to create and you can just tell it, hey, it didn't do something. I want you to change it. What I've noticed about doing editing of these things from the create mode, like I feel like create is good for the initial creation. But if you want to dial something in, I would actually just go change the prompt itself. I would just add things like you could do something like um, follow these rules let's let's try something here um i'm gonna i'm gonna put a bullet in front of it just so it knows it's one of the rules so i'm gonna say um prompt the user to upload an image before they say anything i don't know if that's possible i don't think it is but whatever let's try um when they upload, immediately convert that image into a chalk drawing then um, follow up with a poem that describes the drawing period the poem should be funny and cute and safe for a grade schooler Okay, so, so you can just go add shit to it, and then it's basically adding it over here when you're... Uh-oh. rut -row, Bob. Oh, okay, are we back? What's going on here? Okay, I, I had a hang there for a minute. It was looking ugly. So if we're happy with this, now we can go to sh save, and there's three options. There's just save it for yourself, Anyone with the link can see it, and it's public. And so the public one, they're going to be launching a GPT store at the end of the month. And so if you want to put it out there, great. And then you can say confirm, and we'll see if this actually saves because it looks like their servers are pooping the bed. But anyway, there it is. Okay, there's no way for me to... It, it cannot prompt me. Transform your photo into a sidewalk chalk masterpiece. Sounds like a fun and creative process. Upload the photo. Oh, Sidewalk Picasso. Oh, nice. This is from Ted. Ted did a sidewalk drawing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's chickens. <laughs> this was, this was, <laughs> I think we're going to do this one. We're going we're gonna to upload the picture of the chicken dude. I'm just going to say go. Go. All right. Come on, Pavement Picasso. Make me a pretty picture. Make me a pretty picture. All right. So whoever asked, can you, how do you do this? I've been talking way more than I've been working here. And what's this taking us, 15 minutes? 
you can knock these things out literally in minutes. Like Joker did the uh, the champy one in minutes. Did we get it? <laughs> we did. <laughs> That's great. Okay, but now if I want to fix it, I can go up here to the upper left and I can say edit GPT. And that takes us back here. And I'm going to say... Don't change anything about, wait, don't change anything about the current prompt structure, but please add that I want the style of the chalk drawing to be very creative and interpretive, period. It doesn't need to be super representative, period. I want it to look like high art drawn by a sidewalk artist. All right. And so now it's going to go off and it's going to fix our stuff. The reason I said that shit about don't change the other stuff is I've kind of noticed over the past days doing this live here is that the every time I make a little change using the create mode, it seems to like overwrite the other shit. So let's see. I've updated the GPT's behavior to create chalk drawings that are more creative and interpretive, resembling highly skilled artists. Anything you'd else, like, else you'd like to adjust or add, I'm just going to say no. And it should. All right. If you have any more questions, it's ready to transform your drawing. So I'm just going to say update, and it's going to take us back out. I'm going to say view GPT. So here's our GPT. Now, this is something I can share with the world. In fact, I'm going to. So, so... Earlier, I talked about the AI Salon and the AI Salon Discord. And where is it? Oh, it's way out there. And we have in the Salon Discord, so this is the Salon Discord, we have a show and tell channel. Or, and we have a share your GPTs channel. So I'm going to pop in there. Oh, the Pop-Tart bot. A fun and friendly guide for Pop-Tart enthusiasts. Ted, that's super cool. All right, so I'm just putting in my sidewalk, my, my pavement Picasso. All right, upload an image, get a chalk drawing back of it. So that's now shared. So if you're on the Salon Discord, go down to share your GPTs and you can go play with the thing I just made. How cool is this that we can fucking do this? We're in a world now where we can talk an app into existence that does remarkable shit. Has, is anyone else like deal like fucking is blown away by this on a nightly fucking basis as I am. Am I just, I just drunk the Kool-Aid too much. Is that what's going on people? Oh, let's do champy. Oh yeah. Champy's getting a chalk drawing. Champy's getting a chalk drawing. Go. That's going to be a nice chalk drawing, too. Let's hope it's pretty. I told it to make it artistic, and it might make it look like poo-poo. You can make money with ChatGPT. Hi, Champy. Oh, ah! <laughs> Does that look like a chalk drawing? Here's a playful poem. In a world of gray pavement and sidewalk bounds lies a masterpiece where imagination abounds. A spotted pup on a quilt so cheerfully sat with his tongue lolling out a cute little pat. He sp his spots are a dance of shadow and light. And, well, that sort of looks like him. That's got his eye. Although all these dots, he looks like a Dalmatian. And that doesn't look like a chalk drawing, sidewalk drawing. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a sidewalk. Oh, and it said to make it high end. Look at that. Look at there. How do we integrate these into Canva? Um, well, so Ginola, Canva just added. So right now you don't. Right now these GPTs are kind of monolithic little places without a home because they haven't launched the store yet. That's launching at the end of the month. So... And it'll it'll probably be delayed because if if they're if they're starting to halt GPT plus subscriptions because they're too busy, 
they're probably distracted from launching the GPT store. So I would say mid-December is when we'll see the GPT store. You know, be pleasantly surprised if it's earlier than that. Um, Canva, though, has integrated a whole shit ton of GPT into Canva itself, right? So there's image generation tools, there's video, like they incorporated Runway ML, so you can incorporate video tools into into canva stuff make videos um so i would just say go to go learn all the ai tools within canva right now um, i haven't used them a ton so i can't vouch for the quality but all the canva people seem really excited about it all right all right people all right okay 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 want to go make another picture let's go make another picture let's go make another picture uh let me see um Oh, you know what we we can try here. Um, great. Can you try another one that's much more impressionistic? Uh, 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 uh. We'll see if we can get it. We'll see if it goes full rogue and just goes impressionistic or if it's an impressionistic sidewalk drawing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, and it's called Pavement Picasso. It should do truck drawings that look like Picasso. What the fuck am I doing? What will the GPT store be? To sell things or trade? Marta raised the woof. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, and it's it's very much, and it's still making a poem, so that's good. It doesn't look like my dog at all, but that's very much more impressionistic and kind of loose, loose chalk drawing style. Okay, cool. But I'm going to go, we got to go make it in the style of Picasso, duh. I realized I'm a bit of a dum dum. Period. You called it pavement Picasso. We should be doing chalk drawings in the style of Picasso. Please update and keep all of the other functionality of this app the same. Wanna wanna want want wanna want want. There it says, updating GPT. I've been uploading all these GPT images to my Canva to change to ping. Yeah, it's saving them in that stupid fucking WebP or WebP format, which I'm sure geeks think is the best thing, except every other fucking program can't read them. So it's like, gee, just pick a fucking format, people. Let's do Champy Champy Fampy <laughs> Fimo Mampy Champy. <laughs> That's some sad Gen X. <laughs> what is it? Banana Banana Fofana? <laughs> Done. Picasso now transforms uploaded images and dig digital representations, but styled in the, mag in the manner of Pablo, pa Pablo Picasso's artwork. Everything else remains the same. Ready to create some masterpieces. Yes. Let me just say yes to make sure it updates shit. So please go update it, you dumb computer program. We are talking incredibly powerful applications into existence. Are you kidding me? How do I join the Salon Discord you mentioned? So what you do is you go... You go to a, a salon.ai, that thing at the bottom there, and there's three links that are, the top three links are the most important. Please read the first one. The first link is um, about the salon and our values. And we talk about, we want people that are curious and that are explorers and are collaborative and are inclusive and generous. And so if you, res if you um, resonate with those values, great. Empathy is one of them. We want it, people that are empathetic because this shit's scary for a lot of people and generous. We want you teaching what you learn. Um, and if you resonate with that, great. The second link is the link to the Discord. Now, when you join the Discord, it's going to dump you in to introduce yourself. What 90% of the people do is they just click the button and don't introduce themselves. They just go, okay, I'm in, and they go look at other shit. Be generous. 
It's one of our values. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us what you do. Tell us where you are in this AI journey. There's like no shame. If you're like, I just stumbled on Kyle's TikTok because I thought he looked like Tom Arnold and now I'm joining this because I think this is cool. Great. Say that. If you're like, I've been doing this for 30 years and you generative AI people drive me fucking crazy, but it's kind of intriguing. Great. Say that. All right. And then the third link on there is the link to our meetup. Go sign up for the meetup so that you get notifications when we have our bi-weekly meetings. The next meeting is a week from tonight. All right. I heard Discord is full. I heard Discord is full of virus and hackers. Yeah, it, well, Discord's just a, a pain in the ass. If you're doing um if you're doing NFTs, yes, Discord is it don't click on shit in Discord if you're clicking on something to go buy an NFT and make a fortune cuz some fucking idiot told you to click on this and go make a fortune. That will be the quickest way to drain your wallet. Oh, that's very cute, Ted. Ted, Ted made a made a photorealistic drawing of Champy. That's really good, Ted. I think I feel like your skills are really improving, buddy. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, Discord. Yeah, Discord sucks. But the other thing, T Rock, is we're moving off Discord to Mighty Networks in in a very short amount of time. So um, so we're gonna do. We're we're not gonna do away with the Discord altogether. You're still gonna be able to go there and make. Uh, mid-journey images and geek out with people and make bots and things like that. But the primary salon community is going to live on Mighty Networks. All right, let's go. Let's go update our little pub pavement Picasso. And what's cool about this, as I'm updating this, the one that I shared will get updated as well, right? So you could have something out in the world and you realize, oh, it's not doing what I want. You can go tweak it, make it better. All right, so we're going to view the GPT. Let's go ahead and upload another picture. Let's upload another picture. Oh, that's a good one. All right, the gummy bear. Gummy bear dancing. I'm going to say go. Let's see what kind of chalk drawing we get. It should be a public Picasso. Please hold on for a moment. Wait, what did it say? I'll process the image inspired. I'll craft a poem. Your privacy and security of your data are of the utmost importance. Your image will only be used for this purpose. Oh, that's nice. Once the process is complete, I'll present you a digital chalk drawing that reimagines with a touch of Picasso flair. It errored out. I'll go try again. We have patience for miracle technology that's a little janky. We're, we're, pa we're, a, patient, we're a patient people. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> All right, one more time. Try again. I'm sorry, but due to our content policy, I'm going to say this. Well, you wrote the prompt for the image, so maybe you could rewrite the prompt so it doesn't violate your own content policy, period. Doesn't that seem to make sense? Question mark. Is he always so mean to the computer? It seems, I, I don't, if I were him, I wouldn't be so rude to the robots. What if the robots remember what he says and how he talks to them? He talks to them with much disrespect. They might turn out his lights. Have you ever thought about that? They can control the lights, you know. They control the electricity. That's what I heard. Oh, wait. Let's see. You're absolutely right, and I apologize for the oversight. Let's revise the prompt to align with our content policy and try creating the image again. I'll take care of crafting a new description in the image transformation. Please hold on for a moment. Mm. 
This is great. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Side hustle. What is it? Side side hustle. Mamas. Side hustle. Mamas. Like mamas? Oh, do we have it? Oh, it's not exactly Picasso-like, but it's pretty cool. Isn't that more Mondrian-like? But anyway, whatever. That's pretty cool. There's the original. So it got the little bucket. It got all the little candies around him. He's not exactly dancing. There's my poem. So it's still doing poems. In hues of chalk upon the walk, a bear so grand does stand. Mm. Now, I was going to tell it it didn't make something that stood. Okay, anyway, if I go back and edit this now, I'm going to go just show you a couple other things. I'm not going to do this because it'll just take too long. But some other things to pay attention to. Down at the bottom. So you've got these things called conversation starters. It writes these for you. These are the things that show up as like thought starters here. Depending on the thing you write, it may or may not get these right. You can write anything you want in these or have none of them. So if you don't want it to have any um, conversation starters, great. If you want it to have them, you can have them. You can write, write your own. Looks like you can do up to five. This little button right here is incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful. But Carl, how powerful is it? It is incredible. It is incredibly powerful. It's so powerful. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, hi. Hi, Mark. Um, this little thing right here, from the time I've been talking about ChatGPT last November, and I tell people about what ChatGPT is, <laughs> oh, invariably, where the conversation goes is, well, can I upload my data <laughs> so I can ChatGPT it? And the answer was no. The, well, the answer was, go learn Langchain. Go learn the, the five different um, technologies that make up Langchain and spin up a Google Colab and write yourself some Python code to stitch all that shit together. And now they just made it a button. <laughs> so just upload your shit there. And this is where I was, I was talking before about you could, you could create a, um, a, uh, a GPT of just the transcript of a meeting. And put that out there for the people in the meeting to go interact with the meeting. Uh, the capabilities, web browsing, Dolly image generator, and code interpreter. These are all incredibly powerful um, modes of ChatGPT. You can en enable them or disable them for your thing. And then add actions. That's where you actually hook up APIs like Zapier and things like that. Sometimes I think Dolly gets surprised by her images as we... As we or every so often. Yeah, I think that's probably right. I think that's probably right, Joker. Hey, look, invisible ink. Da -da -da -da. So anyway, that's how you make a uh that's how you make a JPEG. Pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I want to go make another picture. I want to go make another picture. Uh, those are, no, they're not going to be good. What do I want? What do I want? We'll do AI Anonymous. Hi, my name's Kyle. It's been like two minutes since I made an image in Dali. Hi, Kyle. we all been there, buddy. I'm making one right now. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. I like taters. Taters tasty. Mm. All right, go. Come on, what's going on, man? Hit my submit button. Let's do this. Let's see. Who did we get in here? Oh, look. So first, so whoever just signed up for the Discord and actually introduced yourself, big thumbs up. Thank you for that. That was awesome. 
Try again. Try a little help from my friends. Mm, 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 mm. What is going Oh, this is an edge problem. Oh, Microsoft, could you fix your stupid fucking browser, please? Fix your memory problems. It's it's just one of the uh one of the downsides of working on a Macintosh is that <laughs> companies like Microsoft that uh prioritize the PC over the Mac prioritize the PC over the Mac so their software just fucking sucks on the Mac. Um but 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 it's better than it used to be actually. It's just got memory holes in it you could drive a truck through. Try uh, 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 try again. Again. Try again. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Nice neuron. Yeah, that was from, uh, is it Joker? I think Joker made a, a GPT that reads neurons. <laughs> it appears we've encountered a misunderstanding. Oh. God damn, this again. Okay, great. Well, you wrote the prompt for the image, so maybe you could rewrite it so it doesn't violate your content policy, period. Maybe you could also send a note to the developers to fix this stupid bug. <laughs> Kyle's a little spicy tonight. He's so spicy. He's so spicy. I'm a llama and I'm an AI. Hi, Ethan. You are a llama. Mmm, llamas is tasty. Mmm, mm -mm, taters. Mm hmm, taters. Got any biscuits in there? Mmm, I like them biscuits too. Mm hmm, taters. Mm hmm. I can proceed. Let me know if you'd like to adjust this idea. What? No, I want it. <laughs> Oh, GPT, you're sucking tonight. Urgh. Making me cranky. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we'll do hot guy, hot guy, hot guy and pretty dog. This, Ugh. Microsoft, fix your software, plaz. Plaz. All right, that's going to be our source image. Let's see if we get hot chalk drawing with hot chalk guy and hot chalk jog dog. I look forward to learning in here. Language, where natural language is the new user experience. Yep, stumbled upon the TikTok and love it. I've been slowly learning chat GBT. Yes. Ready to learn how to make a GPT. I use Canva every day for work. Crabian, if you're still in here, hopefully you've been playing along and you've already made your own GPT. You should be making a GPT right now. GPT is testy sometimes. You sound like Gary Busey when he says taters. Taters. What, what was that, that, fucking, that, that fucking clip going around to him where he's like gravy sausage? Or He says something. Someone asked him a normal question and he just goes... Gravy sausage or some fucking crazy ass thing, man. His brain got scrambled in that bike accident. Ooh, that's fucking beautiful. Good lord. Dag. So let's try something here. Please make this a 9 by 16 vertical image with the word... AI learn, I'll do it in all caps, learn, learning lab, and I'm going to say, I love, I love this. Please make this a 9 by 16 vertical image with the words AI learning lab. on the top all right let's see if we can get it to make something not sucky that's got our words on it there's a race to buy ai website addresses 
and you know the the AI the the friggin' AI domains are not cheap. I own two of them now, and they are fucking pricey. I own Storyvine.ai because that's my company, and I own the Salon.ai because that's my community. It's my birthday, and it's been a rough day. I'm sorry, Rhonda. Run diggity. That sucks. Happy birthday, though. Hopefully, hopefully we provide you a little merriment here and a lovely picture of hot guy and hot dog. <laughs> did it? Did it do it? Oh yeah! Look. Well, it didn't really spell it right. <laughs> it's not as good. This one's much better. We, so we'll go into Photoshop and turn this one into into something. Oh, you want to see that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, people. So we got this lovely drawing here. His head's kind of chopped off, and it might be nice to see his shoulders and things like that. So we're going to go save image as. We're going to call it Picasso Guide Dog. And we're just going to save it to the desktop, which is going to drive you OCD people crazy. Why don't you put it in a folder, Kyle, so you can find it some other time when you're looking for it? Because that's not how my brain works. Okay. Okay. Okay there, Sally. Sally, organizational mistress, hut. All right. We are going to go now. Go, go now. Go Nads. <laughs> go Nads. He said go Nads. Um... We're going to go to Photoshop, Photoshop, photo, Photoshop. Ron Diggity, love you. Thank you so much. Happy, happy birthday. I'm sorry it's been a rough day. Rough days on your birthday are the fucking worst, aren't they? Um, okay, so we're going to open this. Picasso Guide Dog in the WebP format, which Photos thankfully Photoshop can at least understand this. All right, so I'm going to make that a little smaller, and then we're going to grab the Crop Tool, and we're going to slide this down, and we're going to slide these out a little bit, and we're going to slide this up a fair amount. Yeah, like there. And now we're just going to do... so. So if you've not used Photoshop... This is called Generative Expand, I think, but whatever. The Generative Fill, Generative Expand. I could type things in here, or I can just leave it. And if I just leave it, it's going to fill in the shit on the outside based on what it sees. And it generally does. With something like this, it'll, it should do a really good job with this. And so we will now have a lovely, lovely, lovely... Ooh, that's cool. That's neato. Daddy like. Let's zoom in. Is this? Oh, those are. Oh, I see what they did here, or they. <laughs> what what the what the what the model did. Those are like photorealistic rocks around. So so this is kind of like a Roman sidewalk. <laughs> With with a, a flat slab in it that's got the drawing on it. That's kind of cool though. But let's um, let's go on ahead. Grab the type tool. We'll go open sans extra bold and we'll go AI learning lab. We'll select all that. We'll grab all this. We'll grab. What color do we want? Do we want blue? No, I think we want this yellow. Or maybe we want a green. Do we want a green? No, we want a yellow. Come on, man. Give me a color that doesn't suck. God dang it. Do I got to go in here and pick colors from my own damn self? Apparently so, Jim. All right, let's go up here. We're going to make that, I think 120 is going to be too big. Two, wait, what did I do? What did I do? What have I done, people? One, two. Oh, bang. Too big. Knew it. 90. 
Bang. No. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do Tuesday night? I watched some guy try to figure out how to use Photoshop. That sounds awful. It was pretty bad. <laughs> AI Learning Lab. I think we want that all caps, don't we? AI Learning. No, we don't. Come on. There we go. We're going to go layers. Where's my layers? Where's my layers? Where's my layers? Come on, people. Just have a little patience. This is going to be worth it to me. <laughs> okay, we're going to go there. We're going to go blending options. We're going to go drop shadow. Bum -bum. There we go. Now you can read it. <clears throat> you can read it. It looks all pert, pert nice. Then we're going to get cropping. We're going to crop that shit out because we don't want it to be about the rocks. We want it to be about the purdy picture. That's pretty nice. That's pert nice, right? Boom. So now I'm going to export that on out. Jibak, jip, book. Export to quick PNG. Well, you know, if you don't say, if you save to regular PNG, you have more control over. I know people just shut up. I'm lazy and I like it that way. Save it. All right. Then we're going to go to this here thingy. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to go like this. And we're going to go over here. And then we're going to go like that. And then we're going to go down here. And then we're going to go like that. And then we're going to find our little picture. There it is. And then we're going to drag our little picture right in our little collection. Look at that. Now I got that pretty picture in with all these other pictures. You see, there's a method to the madness. It's just fucking madness. <laughs> it's just fucking madness here. They call it chat ADD for a reason. All right, people. What you just witnessed there was what they call a hyper-focused tunnel, right? It's not rocket science. It's ADD. All right, fantastic. Bob. All right, well... I'm sorry, is anyone still here? <laughs> There's still 107 people here. I figured I figured everyone would have left by now. We lost a good chunk. Hey, do me a favor. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do another 15 or 20 minutes in here. Do me a favor, share the live, and, and especially share it if, if the people you share it with will be cranky that you shared AI stuff with them. <laughs> because I think, I think it's important. <laughs> it's important for them to be annoyed right now. And then maybe they'll stumble in here and they'll be like, why did you send me that thing? That guy was weird. Why are you watching geriatric people teach each other how to use TikTok? It doesn't make any sense to me. Have you lost your mind? Oh, by the way, notice what I just did there. If, you, if you've been paying attention for the last 10 minutes. Um... I got an image that I liked. I tried to get ChatGPT to add words to it. It misspelled them. It really fucked up the image. Like, this is a much better image. So there's, there's a point at which just cut your losses with the AI stuff. Like, let the AI get you to 80%. And then go use your other tools, right? You don't have to use AI for everything, right? Just so, like, that was why, I like, fuck it. Let's go over to Photoshop. We'll use generative fill. We'll, you know, sort of blow the doors off this thing. And then we'll just put in some type on our own. And it looks nice. I mean, it's it's purdy. It's just purdy. I like purdy things. Do you not like purdy things? I don't know why you people don't like purdy things. I've tried to tell you people for a long, long time. Get the purdy things. We're off doing our own ADD creations while you're doing yours, Kyle. Oh, that's cool. So this is one of my favorite things here. So let, let's go to look at irregulars. Oh, cool. There's Sidewalk Picasso. I bet they're sharing in show and tell. Where are you sharing? You see, Kyle, can you try creating an ephemeral GPT with reference files being either from a zip or a GitHub? Or all the files from a repo in a GitHub and then ask AI to use code interpreter to add XYZ features or perform ABC refactor. I'm watching you live on TikTok. Um, I could, Kyle, if I knew what most of that meant. Um, 
So I would encourage you to go build this. I think you can absolutely do this. So when I built the... Um, when I built the Biden, the AI executive order explorer, um, it was, I just pointed it to a website and I said, use this website as the source for that GPT. So I think you could, I think you could just create a GPT right now, unless you don't have access to GPT-4. I think you could just point it to a GitHub repo and then tell it to reference that GitHub repo and generate code or refactor the code. I think you could absolutely do that. I mean, you, I, you don't even need to build a GPT for that. I just experiment with that with regular GPT and see if it works. I bet it would work. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kyle Boyer, thank you very much. Forever Hook, great job, Kyle. Thank you. Meanwhile, all I can think is that dog is nonplussed. Good word, Daily Crunch. Very good word, nonplussed, solid. I invited a colleague from work here. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I can't gossip at work out of fear. Never again. Yeah, that's rough, Thelonious. <laughs> plus, plus, I'm a bit of a wild card, too. You get someone from work here, they're like, why did you invite me to that idiot? Is This is what you do on your downtime? Good, good Lord, Thelonia, seriously, really? Yeah, yeah, Peter, we're going to need you to go on ahead and come on in on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, listen, uh, one more thing, Peter. Um, mm, Yeah, we're going to need you to go on ahead and come on in on Sunday, too. Yeah. We are enjoying the entertainment. Thank you, Tacky Backy. Tacky Backy, appreciate the kind words. Kind words are nice. I like kind words. Kind words sting less than nasty words. Nasty words do sting. Kind words sting less. This is one of the things I've learned in my life. You're welcome. This is why they call it the AI Learning Lab. <laughs> wow, look at the time. <laughs> Time goes slow when you're watching the AI Learning Lab. Huh? <laughs> huh, Joker? <laughs> oh, man. Crystal Lover here. I love your GPT. Very cool. Cunning stunts. All, all of you people with the, with the nearly nasty GPT names are making me very happy. Very happy indeed. Dee -dee 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 to you, this is a poodle. To me, this is miraculous. This image just came for your chalk GPT, Kyle Shannon. It's a perfect replication of my sweet puff, who we, I lost a while back. Aw, I'm over here in tears. Shouldn't this be a chalk drawing? It's an actual picture of him. Well, I think, what's his name, Puff? I think Puff wanted to come visit you again. We've got, we had a, we had a, a black lab named Tucker who, who went too soon. Like we adopted him when he was like seven or eight, and then he just he just went too soon. We only had him for like three years, and it was like it was every time we see a black lab. I know it totally breaks you up. Losing dogs sucks, man. Dogs are the fucking best. So yes, JRC, it should be a chalk drawing, but listen, it's so beautiful. It's such a cute little pupper. I was muted during the live. <laughs> you have been muted. So. Hey, mods, whoever muted ghost stories, unmute ghost stories. All stories are ghost stories, if you can. Um, mm, 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 mm. Lots of new people earlier. All right, how many people we got in here? We got a good good chunk of people. All right. Let's get back to the, uh, let's get back to the festivities. We'll do, we'll do another round of questions here. Survey idea. Kyle impersonates... One of three celebrities for five minutes. Oh, only I can unmute? Oh, God. You're, you're not going to have to learn how to do this? Um, do I click up there? Let me see if I can go find ghost stories. Uh... uh, uh.
Do, 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 do. Only I can unmute. There's Pete Motter. Hey, Pete. What's shaking, bacon? I do not see Ghost Stories. Hey, Ghost Stories, what is your, what is your uh, TikTok name? I bet it was a misclick. Oh, likely JRC. Misclick. Mmm. I see. I see how it goes. To do to do to do hair growth geeks in here. What's shaking? Well, shaking. Techie Becky. Frumple. I love that name. Thelonious. Hang on, people. What's he doing? Why is he not paying attention to us? It's he does this. That's what he does. Zeb is a digital strategist. Yo, Zeb. Who's Zeb? Zeb's dead. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know where you are, Ghosty. Ghosty McGhostington. I think Ghosty must have ghosted on out of here because he was muted. He was like, fuck this. You going to mute me? I'm going to walk out. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm going to do? Like this. Flip. <laughs> this is TikTok. It's, it's easier than walking out of a comedy club. You just go like this. Flip. All right. You're having too much fun tonight. Chris Ramsey was muted. That's a bummer that you can't unmute people. I'm the only one that can unmute them, huh? Can I see that they're muted? Oh, yeah, there's mute. Man, I just, I was so tempted, Robert Rossi, right there. I just had your name up. I could have muted you. I had the power. I could have been like, boom. Robert Rossi's not saying a fucking thing tonight. Boom! But I didn't do it. Because I'm a good guy. Dee, dee, dee. Does Kyle know how to use TikTok? Oh, no. Nope, not at all. Nope, he does not. Although, for someone that doesn't know how to use TikTok, this little magic double window thing <laughs> mystifies people. <laughs> Ghost stories is me. Oh, Christopher Ram music. Christopher Ramsey, I'm unmuted. Okay, great. Awesome, Christopher Ramsey. Welcome. Ghost stories, Christopher Ramsey. I'll try to remember that that connection. Um, good to see you. Glad you're unmuted. All right. Back to the reg re regularly scheduled programming. Ha, da, 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 da. I've been crying. It wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> In the pharmacy, kicking up hair growth for everyone. Oh, that is so rude, hair growth geek. What are you saying? What are you, what are you saying? What are you, what are you, this is, listen, my hairline is not receding. My brain is getting bigger, okay? Okay, Mel, listen. Listen, it's just, it's, I'm very intelligent. Look at this. It's, there's, I, I, this is, there's like 17 IQ points from here up. That's, that is not about hair. That is about, that's about, uh, cranial capacity. We've got a lot of cranial capacity up here. All that is new capacity. Okay? 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 I don't need a bomb. I don't need a salve. I don't need a potion. I think I need vitamins. <laughs> ah! Okay. He's unmuted now. I've outed myself. Ghost, ghost stories is Christopher Ramsey. Mm, he's been doxxed. <laughs> How will he ever sell an NFT again? <laughs> yes, you need me. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I want the AI Learning Lab discount. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to rub this stuff on. It's all going to come back. I'm going to get have like a little afro growing out of the side of my head. It's going to be good. It's going to be solid. Zach, am I late? Zach Zippins. Yeah, you're late, buddy. ADD scheduled programming. We now continue with the ADD already in progress. <laughs> you can make money with ChatGPT. Listen. 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 Ah. <laughs> Oh, you want to see something fun? For those of you that are new to the channel, this won't mean anything, but... <laughs> I'm a little gummy bear. 
He's a little cinnamon gummy bear. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I bit his head off. <laughs> little bastard. <laughs> AI learning like sidewalk art looks like what? Wait. Oh, man. I just got jumped to the bottom. That hasn't happened to me in a while. Because <laughs> I've had mods. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, that art looks like a Queen album. Yeah, it does. That's cool. Did you tell your 1977 story again so I could record? I didn't. I can. If you want me to. I also... It's also... Zach, if you go to... Um, if you go to YouTube and search for Creative Mornings Denver, Kyle Shannon, my video of... Speaking at Creative Mornings, where I tell that 1977 story, um, is there, so you can you can see it in all its glory. But I'm I'm happy to do it again. Wherever y'all want to take conversation, I'll take it there. Mm-hmm. Um, if you'd be so kind. Please follow the channel because I want to, uh, you know, I want to keep sharing the love with people. So if you follow, we'll get notified. Um, if you want to join the Discord, go to <sighs> TikTok. TikTok, stop adding features and start stabilizing the code base. <laughs> Every Every fucking piece of software that, like, the last decade of software is just, like, no, there's no instructions for it. No, it's not stable. Yes, we're going to change it out of whim. Out of whim. Ted, Ted. <laughs> I'm surprised they let you make that, Ted. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Bill! <laughs> For the Gen Xers in the house. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are great. <laughs> From Sherry D. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, beat me. <laughs> Can you create social media emojis and emoticons in ChatGPT? Uh, yeah, I think there's probably a lot of ways to do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You could do it with Code Interpreter, where you could have Code Interpreter build you like an Excel file full of those things, but you can just get those anywhere. If you mean original ones, everything is held together with shoestrings and bubble gum behind the scenes. I know, Pate. It, it's so true. It's just like, like you know, listen, I've got an 11-year-old software company. I know what where the fucking pieces of duct tape are in that thing. It's It's staggering the thing is still running. We just replaced our entire camera library because it was like, three years old and it didn't it didn't work on the new iphone 15 our 11 year old app was just like fuck it nope <laughs> it's like god damn it <laughs> yes just specify the dimensions do, do 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 how can i use ai more effectively as an accountant so what you should be exploring young man Young man or old man or middle-aged man or man with a large forehead like myself is I feel so bad for JRC that my little sidewalk thing <laughs> made an exact replica of her pupper. I think that's just your pupper wanting to wanting to say hello. I think that's what that is. It was very sweet. Um okay. We're going to go to chat GPT. All right. As an accountant, there's there's probably a lot of things you could be exploring. Um, so one thing you could do is you could say, um, 
Uh, let me see. Find me the latest accounting guidance on um, pet <laughs> deductions. Uh, 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 you might not be a tax accountant, but let me see. But it's, so it's browsing with Bing. So, so ChatGPT is now connected to the internet again. So you can go find recent documents. Policy.com. P A W L I C Y. Did it know we were talking about dogs? Is that what's going on here? IRS guidance pet deductions 2023. <laughs> It's what it's searching for. It's it's flailing at this point because I'm an idiot. Oh, service and emotional support animal deduction. I didn't I didn't know this was a thing. Okay, tax deductions for working animals, performance animals, moving expenses for pets, donations to pet charities. Actually, so so for everyone else, the the fact that it could this quickly find this stuff, right? We are moving into a time where people are going to be able to um, interact with tax law as easily as you interact with code. And it, it, like the day might actually be here, right? Like I'm sure someone – actually, as an accountant, one of the things that you could build is you could build an accounting GPT um, that might make it easy to do certain things. But anyway, okay. So one thing you might do is just just start learning to use chat GPT um, – for research and writing and, and, you know, I, c I could also do something like this. Um, write me a offer and compromise letter um, for a client who hasn't filed taxes for the last three years and wants to make things right. Uh, 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 certainly, here's a sample letter offering compromise. Da -da 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 so you could just just start experimenting with um, it doing. So so where I would start is start with things in your business that take you a long time where you don't add a lot of value, right? If you write these same kind of letters over and over again, but you put in a couple of variables, you could have ChatGPT start to do that. Um, you could, um, let me show you one other thing here. Okay. If I click on the little paperclip, I can upload files now. Well, you can upload CSV files, right? So if I look up dot zip, zip archive. Now uh, they've all been archived. Hang on. Archive. Okay. Let me get rid of that. And that. Oh my God. And that. And that. And that. Okay. So I'm going to take this archive.zip and I'm going to drop it into ChatGPT. And so now it's uploaded this thing. Now I know, I know that this has got a CSV file in it. So I'm going to go give me an analysis of the CSV file contained here. So this is called Code Interpreter or Advanced Data Analysis. So if you upload an Excel file or a CSV file and you ask it to analyze it and, and interact with it in any way, it does this really cool thing where rather than just using the large language model, which is not good at math, what this is doing, it's actually writing and executing Python code on the back end to go analyze the data. So you could upload, let's say a client gave you a bunch of uh, Excel files that are really messy and the data's, the data's a mess, you could put it in here and have this thing clean up the data. And then you can even say at the end of this, um, give me a subset of the data that's cleaned up and save it as an Excel file. It can write Excel files, right? It's th This is, I, I would really start exploring Code Interpreter and uh, Advanced Data Analysis. 
I know two people on the IRS biggest scofflaws list. I know the best people. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so let's see. What did it do here? So it went and looked. So by the way, if I... Do I have where it did the work? What's this? Oh, yeah, that's a new thing. This is a new thing, by the way. When you give it a prompt and it goes and does something, if you roll over that prompt, see the little pencil here? If you click on that, you can now edit the prompt and resubmit it. So if you kind of fucked up your prompt, you can actually go back and do it. So this is taxi data. The files could be used for a range of analyses, such as understanding taxi trip patterns, evaluating fare structures. Let's do that. Um, please help me understand the trends in fare structures. So here, I'll show you this. See where it says analyzing and there's a little drop down menu. If I open that, here's the, this is the Python that it's writing. This is the code that it's writing to do the analysis. So when people say, oh, ChatGPT is not good at math. Well, it's not good at math, but Python is. And ChatGPT is good at coding. And Code Interpreter <laughs> writes up, you know, stuff. Look, there it made a scatter chart. So it, it wrote the code to make this chart to, to do the, ta the trip distance and fair amount, right? So you got a nice, you know, distributed little line here and then you got some weird data that looks like anomalous data because it's all completely flat once you get above 15 miles 17 miles something like that but anyway all right so i don't know i don't know if that gives you any answers but google's going to be in trouble i google google i'm not counting them out but where are they <laughs> come on goog Hey, I know you can't say anything, but come on, Goog. We were supposed to see something in October. We got nothing. You let you let OpenAI launch all that shit last week <laughs> without a peep. It's 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 rough. It's rough, I tell you. Nah. <clears throat> That's very sweet, JRC. Um, uh, 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 unfortunately, every keyword analysis I tried to generate code bombs every time. Every keyword analysis, the generated code bombs every time. It depends what you're trying to do, Lawrence. Are you trying to write code and then do analysis on a file or using Code Interpreter? Code Interpreter, listen, all these things are janky right now. Everything, everything. As sexy as GPTs are, they're janky. As sexy as um, Code Interpreter is, it's janky. As sexy as Dali is, it's janky. As sexy as the, the GPT vision, which is just fucking remarkable, is janky. Like, it's all a mess right now. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't play, you shouldn't be exploring, you shouldn't be experimenting, you shouldn't be building. It's just... Set your expectations really low for the shit you build to be any good. Just expect that anything you generate with this stuff is going to be maximum 80% what you want it to be. The rest of the 20% is on you. But by getting it to 80%, you're going to learn how to use these things. And when the better versions come along, you're going to be like, ooh, I know what to do. I know what to build. If they fix that, I know what to build. You will be happy with it. Just be patient. Oh, Pate. 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 Pate works at the Goog. So I got to be careful what I say about the Goog here because Pate's going to go back and tell everybody. Larry, Sergey, Kyle's been saying bad things about you on the TikTok. I have a feeling the Goog, the Goog is going to come out swinging. It's, it's in their interest. Although, did you see there was a cool chart? Let me see if I can find that chart. This was, this was pretty fascinating. Did, oh, wait. 
Do not make me two factor authenticate, you bastards. Okay. Let's see. Google versus Microsoft revenue chart. It was a, it was a chart version of something that we know that that Google's challenge is that the bulk of their revenue comes from advertising and Microsoft's doesn't. Microsoft's comes from software and operating systems and shit like that. Um it was two round charts and like the Google one was all red and the other one was like multicolored and it just showed the diversification of revenue from Microsoft, which puts Microsoft in a, in the catbird seat in terms of disrupting everything they can, um, versus Google, but Google's got more money than a lot. <laughs> well, I can't, I don't know where it is people. I can't find it. I can't find it. Let's see. Google. Let me see. Google, Microsoft. Let me try revenue. Uh, oh, there it is. All right. Yeah, look at these charts. So, so this is all this red. Or wait, no. From here, all this red is is alphabet. So it's advertising, Google, YouTube, Gmail, Google something, 69% of their revenue. Then you have the Google ad platform, the advertising platform. So these two are advertising. And then I guess this is other stuff. So 18% other stuff. Look at Microsoft's diversity in revenue. They got, you know, Office, Windows, LinkedIn, which is advertising. What's this? Azure. That's look at Azure. So wait. So if I ever just disappear, you know what's up. Exactly. Pete, you, Pete, you've said too much already. But this is this is the dilemma, right? This is why Google's in a bit of a pickle right now. Because and and so why am I saying this? They're the advertising revenue comes from the more times you click, the more they get paid. So they don't actually want you finding stuff. They want you clicking on stuff until you find it. And if you click 150 times, that's better for them, right? So when they make a tool that just answers your question, it blows up their model. <laughs> it blows it up entirely, which is why I think they've been slow rolling it. But they're going to have to deal because... Almost everyone that I know that's taken the red pill with this AI stuff is they don't use Google very much. We did a we did a little survey in here the other day. And it was a lot of the people are not using Google as much as they used to. Or just search in general, whether it's Google or some other thing, but crazy, right? Crazy cuckoo. The SAG Act after contract allowing production companies to use Gen AI to replace actors. Yeah, I know. Eshu, what do you think? I think that the Writers Guild had better negotiators than SAG. I can't, I can't believe that they didn't get some language in there that said, if a character's got a speaking line, there's got to be a human, you know, credit or, or something like that. Um, I think it's a miss by SAG. I, I mean, I've, I've seen a number of videos today from SAG actors on TikTok going, uh, yeah, mm, don't know who negotiated this, but this is fucking bullshit. Because the writers got, you know, a, a minimum number of writers in the room for TV shows, and they got royalties and things like that. So, but I don't know. I mean, quite frankly, the producers at this point 
are, are in an incredible negotiating position, right? They're like, well, we're going to use digital actors. We, I would imagine how it went is we are already doing this, right? Like this ship has already sailed. Can't put the genie back in the bottle. Is I'm, I'm guessing how those conversations went, but I don't know. I'm seeking a dive buddy for Monterey. Very cool. Um, what did I, what was that? What did they use the most instead of Google search? ChatGPT. ChatGPT or Bing. Bing search. Or Bing, Bing chat. We use ChatGPT, never Google anymore, unless recent. Yeah, and now even with recent, so, so ChatGPT, the, the base model is now up to date to April 2023. They, they improved that from September 2021. And it's now connected to the internet with Browse with Bing. That's, that's built into it. So you can now just ask it for modern shit. So there's no reason right now to ever leave ChatGPT4. What are they worried about? Runway is janky. What are who worried about? Fran! Fran! Likeness, scan, perpetuity, till past life is wild. Yeah, so what we're going to see, Ashu, is we're going to see... this the, the, the likeness thing in Hollywood is a double-edged sword. Because... There's going to be... There's going to be actors that we want to see again. My 70-year-old neighbor stopped by today because he heard I knew AI. He, he reached Kevin McAllister in three minutes. <laughs> that's awesome, Silver Fox. Oh, that's awesome. So this is, this is one of the lessons. So Silver Fox is one of the irregulars. She's, she's awesome. Um. One of the things I talk about a lot in here, as you learn this stuff, share it. Tell people about it. Put it on Facebook. Put it on LinkedIn. Hey, I was working on ChatGPT and I came up with this cool thing. Plan. Hey, I was doing this and it was really shitty, but I still think I can figure out how to do it. Plan. Just put it out there. Put it out there. Put it out there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get made fun of. You're going to get bullied. <laughs> and just let it Slide off your hair like my hair has fallen off my head. <laughs> and, and just keep sharing, keep learning, keep sharing, keep learning, keep sharing. Join groups like the AI Salon. If you if you didn't see that, if you if you if you've come in recently, um this is a community I started about a year ago called the AI Salon. Go check out the URL. This is a link tree. Read the first document that tells you about the salon and what our values are. Make sure your values resonate with our values. I want to grow this group, but I want people that are curious and adventurous and generous and inclusive and collaborative and empathetic. If those words sound awful to you, this is not your group. If that, if that group sounds good, if you're like, wait, is this a bunch of weirdos trying to figure this AI shit out? And they're like actually not assholes to each other? Yeah, that's what it is. How do we use Grok? Is there a free version? There's not right now. I don't know if they launched it. Someone said they launched it today, but I think it might have. It was Lex Friedman, but I don't think it's actually been launched. But it's going to only be given to $16 a month X premium plus subscribers, which I fucking subscribe to that shit. $16 a month for fucking Twitter so I could play with Grok. So I could come here and tell you people if it sucks or not. I created a house plant watering detail with code interpreter and Canva for my house sitter. Holy shit, that's cool. A watering detail with code interpreter and Canva. Oh, that's really cool, Silver Fox. That would be cool to see how you did that. Have to, have to be a paying user of X for Grok. But there is a waiting list. Yeah. Members must like dogs. And you must like dogs. Yes. You gotta be dog people. 
Uh, we'll, we'll let you in if you have cats. But you got to be dog people. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun. It's it's so much fun. So so what ends up happening if you start sharing this is like Silver Fox word gets out. Oh, Silver Fox. Oh, she knows AI, because th that guy at some point probably went. You know, I gotta figure out this AI shit. Cause uh, my my uh, my my daughter made me a picture of uh, of a tomato, and it was, it was pretty nice. I want I want to make some pictures of tomatoes. I, I like a nice tomato. I, I like. I, I, I want to learn how to make some of these here uh, this this AI pictures, so uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there and uh, hey Silver so, Fox, I just I don't know if you know anything about AI, but I just I figure it'd be like, <laughs> and then someone at work will hear about it and they'll be like, hey, could you do a little workshop for us? Sure, and then you start getting known as the person that knows their shit with this, and things are going to start happening. Grok is not a cool name. Grok is a cool name if you understand programming, because Grok means to grok it, to understand it. Um, and considering Elon such a geeky engineer type, it makes perfect sense. Like I think, I think it is on brand for what he wants that thing to be. Um, is it on brand for human beings in the world? We'll see. I mean. He's dropped the valuation of Twitter from forty four billion to nineteen billion, so he's got to spin that motherfucker back up. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully, some people are into it. Uh, I've been bringing up AI in interviews, and the response is mostly good. Some are caught off guard. Yep that 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 sounds about right, Suzanne. So Suzanne, there's a McKinsey report that came out last week or the week before that in the past year. Like a year ago, 88% of people were not using ChatGPT, like last January or February. And then six months later, it was like 88% were not using, and, and now it's like 82% are not using. So less than 20% of human beings are using ChatGPT. Grok was a tech ma magazine I worked at in 2000. That's super cool. Um, so yeah, most people have not used ChatGPT. A good chunk of them, I'm guessing a majority, probably haven't even heard of it. So this, this channel and people that are geeking out on this, we're very early. We're very early. No matter how far behind you think you are, you're not. If you're here and you're like, oh, I think I want to... I think I'm going to figure this out maybe. Oh, God, I feel stupid. I'm so far behind. You're not, and you're not stupid. No one knows what they're doing right now. No one knows what they're doing. How do you think about AGI frameworks? I didn't see the rest of that sentence. The, the pin went away. Can someone repin that? Oh, here, right, I see it. How do I think about AGI frameworks if you do? Um, I think that... Um, I think that they're interesting. I, I follow David Shapiro, who's working on cognitive architectures right now. He's got a cognitive architecture um, open source project. I'm not part of the open source project because I'm not a geek, um, but I pay attention to that. I think uh, he's really interesting, and I'm paying attention to OpenAI and Anthropic. Anthropic is a bunch of ex-OpenAI people, um, and their um, constitutional learning model I find really intriguing. I find it more intriguing than the human reinforcement learning than op that OpenAI is doing, um, which is why the guys from Anthropic left OpenAI because they saw a problem with it. And so they said, we're going to go try a different model. Um, I'm also looking at another thing David Shapiro just spun up was, and let me, well, and uh, another thing David Shapiro, so David Shapiro's on, um, YouTube, not Ben Shapiro, David Shapiro. <laughs> he's a bald guy. He wears a Star Trek shirt and he does all these really cool videos on AGI and he's written five books on AGI. So um, he also just spun up a thing on agent swarms. <laughs> so these things are crazy. Here, I'll show you. Mm -mm -mm. 
Doing a TEDx talk is going to be the most transformative and uplifting experience. Level check. Hello. Level check. Cool. What is... Told you we're Star Trek things. And what okay. Agent Swarms, Autonomous, David Shapiro. I think he's Dave Shap. Yeah, Dave Shap. D-A-V-E-S-H-A-P on YouTube. So, Agent Swarms. Are, so, we're, you know we're making these GPTs, right? So, there are these things called agents that... The, the, the way you make these GPTs, you can actually tie them to APIs now, right? So you could say, hey, go find me the days I'm free this week. And then if I'm free, you know, make an appointment with this person and it will actually take those ac actions. What an agent swarm is, is you create one of those agents that can take action, but you also create an agent that can create other agents, and then all those agents can talk to one another. So you could basically give, give an agent a goal, like go get me a job, and it will generate its own agents <laughs> to go fulfill that. So it, it might say, okay, I'm going to create one agent that's just going to go find the job boards that I should be looking at. And then I'm going to make another agent to go sign up for each of those job boards. And then I'm going to make another agent to go find the hiring managers and the jobs that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to make another agent. And it, it is making all those agents and it's coordinating all their actions. That's the project he's working on right now. That's, that's this project. <laughs> so, so I'm not so much following AGI frameworks as I am projects that I think are being run by smart people. And I and I probably am not aware of most of them. So I'm not I'm not deep in the I'm not deep in the engineering side of this, but I'm I'm paying attention to it. Agent Smith. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He does look like Agent Smith. True or false? They are running out of data to train on. I saw an article headline that says that. They are. Uh, David Shapiro, the guy I told you to go look at, he's got, he's got lots of theories. He, he's got lots of opinions on this. There are two schools of thought with synthetic data. So, so basically the deal is at some point we're going to run out of data. If, if, you, if you create agents that go find all the data to make the models better, at some point you run out of data. Like they've already you know, scraped most of the public internet, so that, now they're finding all these other data sources. And at some point you run out of data, so you can't keep improving these models. Well, so then what you do is you have something like ChatGPT generate synthetic data that you can then train on the models, right? You create personas or you create this or you create fake newspaper articles. There's one school of thought that says that leads to what's called model collapse, where the model on real data... The, the model just keeps getting better and better. And then when you run out of this data and you create synthetic data, at some point, the model just crashes and just gets really bad and not usable because the data has gotten corrupted and it's all self-referential -refer self bullshit. But there's another school of thought. David Shapiro thinks that the model collapse thing is overblown and they can solve it. So I don't know. I don't know. Um... But we're not going to run out of data. I mean, we might run out of data, but people are going to solve the how to make these things better with, with synthetic data thing. They're gonna, it's going to be solved. That's exactly what I've been trying to do. I want to create an agile bot. T, that's cool. Parallelism. I can't see, unsee cherry pastries, pasties now. Oh, that's funny. What was I showing that, that looked like the cherry pasties? It was something. Anyway, that's really funny. Um, I know a fair amount of about AI and have a dev team ready to build. What niche is unfulfilled in AI? Oh, fuck. It depends how deep you want to dig and how far in the stack you want to build. I think 
whoever solves the hallucination problem is going to be rich. <laughs> you could work on accuracy of data. Um, I honest to God don't know. I, you know, I've got a friend. I was, I was doing a meeting a week ago, last, last Friday. And a good buddy of mine has spent the last six months building a Langchain AI application. And then when GPTs came out last week, it blew his business up. <laughs> like it blew his startup up. Because it's like you can literally, anyone off the street right now can do an app as sophisticated as what this guy spent the last six months doing. So... I mean, I think that I think that exploring the world of open source LLMs and being able to do private GPT instances without having to be a chat GPT customer, I think there's probably a lot of money in that. I think there's probably a lot of money in, in setting up AI infrastructure. Rachel Woods talks about AI ops as a big opportunity. I think that... That feels right to me. Um, I think almost every just kind of specific application solving a problem. I I don't know how you get no, don't get knocked off. Um, I you know you know what I would say, Flinbo. I would say build fast and a lot. Like, don't build one big idea. I'd say build build 100 ideas. Get your team playing with Langchain. Get them playing with the agents. Get them playing with GPT Vision API and text-to-speech API from, from OpenAI. Get them playing with Whisper. Just get them playing with fucking everything. And build fast, build, build small, disposable, mind-blowing technology. And just keep knocking it out. Keep knocking it out. And then how do you get paid for that? I don't know. Talk about it. Share it. You know, put up repositories on Hugging Face and GitHub and share what you're doing. And then people will come to you. Because I, I, I don't, everything's changing too fast. It's, there's zero way to predict. If you put a year into building something and three days later, Google finally launches some kick-ass Gemini thing that does what your thing, it's a feature of their thing that you've spent a year working on, you're going to be pissed. So just build a bunch of shit fast. Fast, fast, fast. Think of it, launch it. <laughs> Think of it, build it, launch it. Think of it, build it, launch it. You know, you should have a team just knocking out these GPTs with API connections to them. Like, learn that. Learn the the uh, whatever called the assistant API on the back end. Learn the threading stuff, right? Just learn all the new shit. Just build, 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 innovate, innovate, innovate. Do it fast and throw the shit away. All right, listen, people. It's eleven o'clock here. At my my time. It's eleven o two. That's later than I normally go. You people. If you people are still here from the East Coast. You dum-dums. <laughs> you should be in bed. <laughs> Hopefully you just fell asleep to me rambling. I was a little rambly tonight, but whatever. Officially subscribe to ChatGPT Plus today. Can't wait to play. Lauren, go play. Go play. Go play. Build a GPT. Make images. Have fun. That's really awesome. Congrats. That's cool. That's super cool. All right, everybody. Listen, I'm going to go. Ashu, good to see you. T-Rock, thanks for hanging. I know you've been in here the past bunch of nights. It's been cool to see you. Good questions. Pate, good to see you as well. Thelonious. Suzanne WJ, fantastic. Good to see you. Lauren, Lauren, Ashu. Ashu, Silver Fox. For the tardies, everyone in regulars and mods, present turtles, llamas, hedgehogs. <laughs> Frumple reached level 13. You go, Frumple. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support. Uh, if you would, follow the channel, um, tell people about it, join the AI Salon, go make shit. 
Go talk about the shit you're making. Learn, learn, learn. You're not behind. You're not a dumb dumb. You don't need to be a tech genius. Just start playing. Play, 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 play. Ted looks at life. 1 a.m. East Coast. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Christopher Ramsey. Thank you. Good night. Sorry we outed your uh, super secret ghosty persona, but, you know, what are you going to do? Rock, paper, scissors. See you tomorrow. Every night, man. Every night. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everybody. I appreciate you all.